So I have been alive for the past 25 years and I'm not gonna lie. There has been a lot of things that have came and went in my life, but you know what has it? Stupid people. Now, I'm not gonna be that guy that acts very superior to everybody else, but you know, I'm just some weird dude that likes to talk to a camera. Also, all of this is coming from a dude who got a fucking 13 uh, on his ACT test in high school. But no, seriously, it seems like there's a lot of adults who aren't really necessarily adults. A lot of them are just really overgrown kids who barely know how to function. Anyways guys, what's up everybody? I'm Amarx and today we're talking about the four different types of stupid people. So the first stupid guy is the very nice but naive guy. Now this particular dude is usually the very relatively nice and very easy to get along with person. But sometimes there's literally moments where you just want to take this dude's mouth and super glue it shut because he's just a freaking idiot. Because bro, this guy be asking very stupid dumb questions about everything. Wait, so the sky really is blue? Also, AutoZone, do you happen to carry blinker fluid? Also, may I have a cheeseburger but with no cheese? Like, no, Calvin, you cannot use your school lunch car to get your new car registered at the DMV. Like, I know we're friends and all, and I can get along with you, but no, Calvin, you're fucking stupid. And bro, don't even ask me how I know about these type of people. Like, I just don't get it, dude. Like, some people be just effing wild. Like, one time, there was this dude in middle school that tried to convince me that dating your cousin is normal, and they was, like, the first blood cousin. I was like, bro, what? Oh, man, we haven't even got to the other three yet. This is gonna be a disaster. So, the second stupid type of person we kind of know is the very rebellious but know-it-all. And you all kind of know what I'm talking about. Like, you could ask this person to do something and most of the time it would be the right thing or give some really good advice and the dude would just turn around and do the complete opposite because he's a stubborn dickhead. And this dude would literally argue with you over everything too. And I just don't get it. It's like they're like allergic to intelligence or something. Like, I knew a kid who refused to wear socks on his shoes because they looked dumb. Like, what? I'd be trying to tell the kid how important it is to wear socks, but then he'd be just trying to argue with me like it's optional or something. Like, no, bro, <laughs> you're kind of important. And then the next day, the kid would be wondering why he has athlete's foot, stinky feet, and just bl blisters and sores everywhere. And then if you go up to him and tell him, I told you so, he'll literally argue with you some more and get mad. And at this point, you're just like, let's just, we get, the, let's just get the needle and just put this kid down because he's just a straight waste of oxygen. Like, your mama should have just swallowed you whole. Now, the third guy is usually a very common and popular type of guy. This stupid guy is the guy who never grew up and he is a giant bum. Like, you could just tell by looking at him that he smells really bad and he'll just mooch off of you like the one by kid from Ned's The Classified School Survival Guide. Like, this dude is always sucking up your shit. Now, this dude will make up every excuse in the book why he refuses to work and he'll also say some shit like, oh, I'm a rapper or some bullshit like that. And he'll also mention something about either being in a band like 16 years ago. That's if he's not a rapper. And they usually live in the past. And sadly, this guy never matures past the age of 12 years old because of severe drug addiction. And he'll also ask you for everything. Hey man, can I use your toothpaste? Also bro, can I borrow your soap? Like, who the hell asked to borrow soap, you bum? Get a job! This guy will also make a sob story of how like he's homeless or something and he'll also leave out the parts where it's not his fault because nothing in his life is ever his fault and he'll always play victim in everything. Also, this dude will lie about everything and he'll like, it'll be something very small too. Like, he'll just lie about what his shoe size is or something because he is just stupid. And for some reason, a lot of these people think they're some, like, gangster or something, but in reality, they just grew up in a white suburban area and they went to church every week instead of jail. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I've been kind of mean a little bit. I might, I might be going a little too harsh, but oh well, like, fuck it, you know? <laughs> Now, the last type of person is the most rare stupid kind, but it's kind of hard to tell at first, but once you identify it, you can easily, like, recognize it. It's just the most non-common. And this guy is usually the biggest menace to society. It's very similar to number three, but there is actually a big difference. This guy is usually not a wannabe, but this guy is usually super cocky. This is a type of guy that will just steal your wallet, but then he'll just come around and help you look for it later. 
This individual is usually very careless and he'll do everything it takes to get what he wants. Usually this guy's like a combination of all three except he'll have every unpopular opinion just to make himself look really cool and edgy but in reality it's just extremely cringy. And this person will believe every single conspiracy theory on the internet. Now, admittedly, there are some conspiracy theories that are interesting, but this dude would literally argue that the Earth is flat because there are 2D images on a freaking map. Or he'll most likely pull the classic, the moon landing was fake because of CGI, but in 1969, the CGI looked like this. Sometimes I just feel like the human race should be extinct. Oh, holy crap, guys, it's almost 4 a.m., but thank you guys for watching today's video. Also, guys, please subscribe and, um, good night.